with you a race fan of four wheels and two wheels it was a busy weekend of motorsport with a disappointing run for the Australians at the United States Grand Prix and chaotic weather at the MotoGP at Phillip Island. Let's get into it. In Texas, Formula One raced at the Circuit of the Americas where Max Verstappen marked his 50th F1 victory after starting in sixth place. Lewis Hamilton had finished second before being disqualified along with sixth place Charles Leclerc after the race. Scrutineers found the pair to have had excessive plank wear. It elevated Lando Norris to second and Carlos Sainz to third. But it was a heartbreaking weekend for the Australians. Oscar Piastri had jumped four positions into sixth place after making contact with Esteban Ocon on the opening lap. But he was later forced to retire on lap 11 due to damage to his radiator. And Daniel Ricciardo's return from injury didn't go according to plan. His AlphaTauri lost pace after sustaining front end damage. He finished 15th. To Phillip Island, where MotoGP drew its biggest crowd in 11 years, it was French rider Johan Zarco who took victory in a nail biting last lap pass. Francesco Bagnaia finished runner-up. Australian Jack Miller finished seventh after running as high as third. He said he struggled with turns 11 and 12. In some good news for Aussie race fans, Australian Joel Kelso secured third place in Moto3. It was a chaotic weekend with organisers forced to move Sunday's feature race forward to Saturday due to a forecast of wet and windy conditions. Saturday's sprint race was then pushed back to Sunday, which was eventually cancelled due to the weather. There are now calls to reschedule the Australian MotoGP route from its mid-spring date to a time of year with less extreme weather. In the NASCAR Cup Series, Christopher Bell won the event at Homestead. Ryan Blaney and Tyler Reddick rounded out the podium. And in other major motorsport news, four teams could be given approval by supercars for proposed aerodynamic and engine changes to the Mustangs. Approval could be given as soon as Wednesday when supercars holds a commission meeting. It means we could see a revised front bar and new rear wing on the Mustangs this coming weekend at the Boost Mobile Gold Coast 500. Speed Cafe understands teams have already begun preparing to fit the new parts. Looking ahead to next weekend and Formula One heads to Mexico where Australian Jack Doohan will get behind the wheel of Alpine's A523 in the first free practice session. MotoGP will head to Thailand. The NASCAR Cup Series will race at Martinsville Speedway in Virginia. The World Rally Championship's Central European Round will contest 18 stages across Austria, Germany and the Czech Republic. And back home, the Gen 3 supercars will tackle the streets of Surfers Paradise for the Boost Mobile Gold Coast 500. They'll be supported by the Porsche Carrera Cup, the V8 Super Utes and Sports Sedans.